explaining it to. Now if I have to come to some proofs according to the data by University of Panato uh, from Virginia, the data says that 77% of the students think that online learning is just as effective as offline learning while 70% of them think to be better. Now if I have to conclude that online learning is uh, just the evolution of education. Now if education is evolving, so we have to evolve or otherwise we will get behind. Our classroom is not defined to four walls, so neither should our education be. Thank you. Now to call the team to pose your rebuttal question. As you have given your points against online learning, is as effective as in-person education. I want to ask that don't online classes lack serendipity and spontaneity and please explain the term so that you can uh, clear by your words. Okay, first of all, she wants to target me that the word here means that in all offline classes you get instant reaction. But sometimes instant reaction is not just the required thing. In online education, we can access many kinds of things uh, at once. For example, if I have a doubt at even midnight, I can access it in comparison to offline school. It doesn't mean that you have to get the reaction instantly because what matters is what you think, not how you can get the answer instantly. Thank you. Thank you, Abhinav Singh. Now I invite Manasri Mishra to present her argument against the motion. Good afternoon, Honorable Judges, Moderator Sir, Fellow Debaters and Worthy Opponents. My name is Manashi Mishra and I am a student of Class 11 at Einstein Public School, Pratagar Raj. Today, I stand before you to present my arguments against the motion that online learning is as effective as in-person education. As a student who has experienced both online and offline, I firmly believe that I firmly believe that in-person education, also termed as one-on-one -on -one learning, is, is unparalleled in its ability to foster the academic excellence, social growth, and emotional intelligence. While online learning has its benefits, but it cannot replace the richness and depth of in-person education, hands-on learning, human guidance, and interaction. First and foremost, in-person education provides a holistic learning environment that online learning cannot replicate. Classroom is not just a place for academics, it's a place for socialization, critical thinking and creativity. Students learn from each other's perspective and build a lasting relationship with their peers and mentors. On the other hand, online learning is lack human interaction lack the energy of dynamic classrooms. In offline classes, we can see that human uh, students get engaged in practicals and experiments, field work to foster their practical skills. And the crucial aspect is the role of a teacher. The teacher is not a one who just a dispenser of information. He's the one who plays a uh, who plays a role model, a guide and a motivator. So at the last, or to end my speech, best connections are made eye to eye, not screen to screen. The, let the children decide that, let the children decide their competition level by seeing the competition level around them, not by just imagining it by studying isolate. Thank you. Welcome, Ministry. Now, Team Lalganj to pose their rhetorical question. If you think that in-person learning is truly superior, then how can you reconcile the fact that many students in the same physical environment face a vast differences in their engagement and understanding? They face some things like bullying, distraction. Doesn't it suggest that the method of learning isn't the main thing, but the children's adaptability to various kinds of learning environments is the main thing? I understand your point, but I have my different perspective. In online learning, the main and the crucial thing is discipline, consistency. How you will come to know that? In online learning, the discipline plays a very important role. And as per the data, and as per the data, the graduation rate of online learning is 10 to 20 percent, and in offline learning, it is 50 to 60 percent. 
The satisfaction rate of online learning is 10 to 20 percent and in offline learning it is 60 to 70 percent. Thank you. Well done, Manasri. I request Vaishnavi Pante to present her argument for the motion. Good morning everyone present here. I am Vaishnavi Pande of class 11 from Einstein Public School, Pratapgarh branch. Today, I am standing here to present my thoughts in favor of the topic that online learning is as effective as in-person education. My first point supporting this statement is flexibility and convenience. The students who are able to learn at their time pace, their self-learning, they can be very helpful for the online platforms. My second point is self-discipline and management. Online learning allows students to maintain self-discipline. They will learn by themselves and maintain discipline on their own. My third point is cost-effectiveness. Cost-effectiveness means that online learning is more affordable as it is lesser expensive and it uh, eliminates the cost of the computing. Then I have, furthermore, I would like to say that uh, online learning is also very uh, effective because of the scalability. Scalability means in a classroom sitting or in on offline classes, you may have only 50 to 60 students. But in online classes, you may have 25,000 students at a time uh, interacting with the teachers. For conclusion, I would like to say that there are many ways to climb the mountains, but the view is always the same. For the future, the education is not about online and offline. It is about the outcomes that we are giving. Thank you so much. Tremendous. Now, I ask Lalgan Steel to pose a brutal question. As uh, she said that, uh, online education is affordable. How is it affordable? Firstly, I would like to say that, except PW, Except PW, there is no offline coaching there which is affordable. It this point to be noted because any offline education is not there which is affordable. I say that online education is affordable, but if there is no any online education except PW which is affordable nowadays. What do you say about it? I think you are not entirely accurate because uh, the online classes which are having the cost for the tuitions, the offline classes are having double of it. And it also eliminates the cost of uh, transportation. It saves our time and the online is very cheap. Like you, why are you excluding PW? PW is also included in online learning also. Thank you. I hope I have explained that. Great. Now I invite Supriya Mishra to present her argument against the motion. A very prestigious noon to everybody. My name is Supriya Mishra and I am from Einstein Public School, Lal Ganj branch. Recently I am studying in class 11 from the bio stream. Today I am here to debate on the topic online education is as effective as in-person education. In-person education, what is it? Let me first make you aware about it. What is in-person in -person education? In-person education is the education which is also termed as the offline education as well. It boosts our concentration level. It boosts our concentration level due to the physical presence of teachers during the session. There are many advantages of offline education. It includes handled learning, face-to-face -face conversation and structured environment and it also develops our time management skills as well and the very important it boosts our memorizing capacity it allows the natural discussion between the student and the teachers and a genuine connect connection between them now uh, it also enhances our public speaking skills for example if you have to learn swim you have to jump in water by perception, you cannot learn how to swim. That's why, likewise, if you have to enhance your public speaking skills, you have to come in front of public and uh, acquire the online, offline education. Thank you. I respect your points. 
But uh, do you remember the time of the pandemic COVID-19? Who has done that time? Online education was there to help us at that time. There are many kinds of prevalence that does not allow us to get out of our houses and indulge in offline classes. Then what will you do at that time? Because online learning is the most effective thing at that particular time. As uh, she asked that uh, at the time of pandemic, online education helped us more. But it helps us uh, because uh, offline education cannot occur that time. But uh, it doesn't mean that it replaces the offline education. It is just used as a substitute for because on that time, on the time of pandemic, there uh, is no the offline education. Uh, the online educa the offline education cannot occur. So that's why it was kept as substitute only. It cannot replace the online education. Great. As we come to end of our debate competition, I would like to congratulate all of the participants for their outstanding performances. Debating is not just about winning, it's about expressing your ideas and learning from others. Each of you has an excellent job today. Big round of applause for all of them. And I thank the judges and all the guests, our chief academic head, Sulivan sir, Garima ma'am, Pathak sir, uh, principal of Lal Ganj branch, Oja sir, Manoj Oja sir. And uh, now we conclude the uh, debate competition. Thank you very much.